So one thing I've learnt about game development is that it can take a decent amount of time to make a good game. Sure, I've made games in 24 hours and 48 hours, but as I said, it can take a decent amount of time to make a good game. So I decided I wanted to go completely against that and try to make a game as fast as possible. In this video, I'm going to be remaking a bunch of my games, but trying to make them in just 10 minutes. Obviously, game development can be a process, creating graphics, programming, fixing bugs, playtesting, but I wanted to try to forget all of that and just speedrun game development. I'm going to be making five different games and trying to complete them all in just 10 minutes. For my first game remake, I'm going to remake Combat.io. Combat.io is a fake multiplayer game I made, where you pretty much walk around and fight different bots, upgrading your weapons as you play through the game. The core concept of the game was the idea of walking around and fighting different enemies. And since we only have 10 minutes to try remake the game, that's all we're going to focus on. To get started, I opened Game Maker Studio 2 and created a new project. We needed to make some sprites, but once again, since we only had 10 minutes, Let's just do this and call it a day. There we go. We have our player sprite. For our enemy sprite, we just duplicated the player sprite and colored it red. Now that our game had some sprites, I created an object for the player and programmed a simple movement system. The next thing to do was create an attack for the player. I made it so that if you click anywhere on screen, the player will simply spin. Whenever the player is spinning, they're in an attack state. I then created an enemy object and programmed the enemy to follow the player. If the enemy collides with the player while the player is in an attack state, the enemy will be destroyed. But if the enemy collides with the player while the player is not in an attack state, the game will restart. I created a spawning system which will randomly spawn enemies, added a scoring system, and there we go, our game was complete. Overall, even though the game didn't have a lot of variety, it was essentially a remake of our game's core concepts. You could walk around and fight enemies, trying to get a high score. Just as a quick side note, if you would like to play this game or any of the games I make in this video or download the game's source codes, they will all be available on my Patreon over at patreon.com slash badgamedev, link in the description. For our second game, we were going to be remaking Gunner Runner. Gunner Runner was a game that was created by game developers on Fiverr. It's an endless runner shooter where you run through a cave, take out enemies, avoid obstacles, and try to get a high score. To get started on our game, I once again created some sprites. Yellow for the player, red for the enemy. I programmed a simple jumping system and created our level. I then created a shooting mechanic where the player could shoot bullets and things were looking pretty good. I then created a few obstacles and a spawning system that would randomly spawn obstacles. The game now worked like an endless runner. I created an enemy object that randomly shot bullets at the player and that would be destroyed by player bullets. I added the enemy to the spawning system and added a scoring system where the player is continuously given points as the game goes on and an extra five points for each enemy the player takes out. And there we go, our second game was complete. Overall, the game was actually pretty good. The endless runner system worked and the shooting mechanics also worked. Before we make the next game, I wanted to take a second to tell you about the sponsor for this video, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of different online classes and members from all around the world. I think Skillshare is great for game developers as there are many different classes on game development and other skills related to game development. A class that I found really helpful was Unreal Engine 4 Create Your Own First Person Shooter by Tim Lash. This class shows you the fundamentals of how to make a first person shooter game using Unreal Engine 4, with topics including how to create different customizable weapons, how to animate a first person character, how to script complex reloading and shooting systems, how to create interactive ammo pickup objects, and much more. If you would like to join Skillshare for yourself and check out this class along with many others, the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description or the code BADGAMEDEV will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. The next game we were remaking was Captain Explosion. Captain Explosion is a platform shooter game where you take out enemies, complete puzzles, and never finish the game. The whole idea behind Captain Explosion was to create a game that was impossible. Essentially, you worked your way through to the second level, only to be told that you needed a red key to open a door. The red key doesn't actually exist in the game, and therefore, the game is impossible. The main elements of this game was that it was a platformer, and that it was impossible. To get started, 
started, I created a player and programmed some platforming mechanics. The player could move around and jump, pretty simple stuff. The player had to make their way to the yellow square to go to the next level, and the idea was that the player would work through a few levels before they reach an impossible level. I created an enemy, which would simply walk back and forth. If the player collided with the enemy, the level would reset. I then created five different levels, and for the final level, I made it so the player could not get to the yellow square. The game was not only impossible, but it was complete. The final game, well, worked. It had some pretty basic mechanics, but it was pretty good for a remake of Captain Explosion. For the fourth game, we were remaking You Probably Won't Survive. You Probably Won't Survive is a top-down survival game where you survive waves of zombies and other monsters trying to take out as many as possible. You could chop down trees, build bases, and do a bunch of other things that we would not be able to remake in 10 minutes, so we're just making a top-down shooter. I started by creating a player with a simple movement system and a shooting mechanic where the player could simply click to shoot bullets. I created some enemies which would simply move towards the player. I created a spawning system which would randomly spawn these enemies and to finalize the game I added a scoring system where you get a point for each enemy you take out and there we go the game was complete once again it was pretty good for something made in 10 minutes you could move around and take out enemies pretty simple for the final game, I wanted to try something different. I wanted to make a 3D game. Here's the thing though, I don't really make 3D games, but I figured, why not? Let's try make a first person shooter in 10 minutes. To get started, I opened Unity and created a new project. I imported a first person shooter asset. Now, the reason I'm using an asset is because I only have 10 minutes to make this game and because I don't know how to make an FPS. I created a cube and a grass material, which I applied to the cube. I also created some enemies which don't do anything, but there we go, an FPS game made in 10 minutes. And that completes our challenge of making a game in 10 minutes. We created a top-down fighting game, an endless runner shooter, a platform game, a top-down shooter, and a first-person shooter. And yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. I'd like to once again thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. Remember, the first 1,000 people to use my link in the description or the code BADGAMEDEV will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Also, so if you'd like to play any of the games in this video or download the source code for these games, they're available on my Patreon over at patreon.com slash badgamedev, link in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and you can also subscribe if you're new to the channel. Peace.